Hello and welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can use serial communication on your STM8S microcontroller boards. So this development board over here is the STM8S103F3P6. For those who are new, we have already started a sequence of tutorials on the STM8S microcontrollers. So in our first project, in our first project, we saw how to get started and in the second project we saw how to do some basic gpio control so here we initialized so the compiler we'll be using is the cosmic c compiler and the programming environment is stvd which stands for st visual studio so in our previous tutorial we learned how to do basic gpio functions so we used this particular setup to control the led using a push button now moving forward we will learn how to do serial communication with this particular board so the complete program for this is given over here. Now again, the explanation for this code along with the circuit diagram and everything can be found at the link given in the description of this video. So for as far as the program is concerned, I have used a header file which was written by me called the stm 8 s 103 underscore serial dot h. So this particular header file can also be downloaded from the link and it basically helps you to do serial communication in a much more easier way. So let me show you the header file. This is the header file. It has some uh, functions which will help you to use serial communication which is similar to your Arduino environment. So we can use serial begin to start a serial communication. We can print an integer by using this command. We can print a character by using this command. We can print a complete string by using this command. Instead of a print ln, I have used a function serial underscore new line and serial dot available is the same one. It will check if there is serial data, new serial data that we can read. And then we also have serial read character. Now, uh, this is the header file. So uh, along with this header file, you will also need other SPL libraries. If you look at the development environment over here, you will see this is the uh, project folder and inside the source files i have added all the uh, source files which is provided by spl and all the header files which is provided by spl and more importantly i have also added the header file which was created by uh, me which i just explained it to you now coming on to the main program once we have added both the header files now if you're confused where to get these header files and these source files either read the link in the description or look at the first video where we get where uh, which is titled getting started with stm 8 s now that being said coming to the program uh, the first two lines is to include the header files the second line uh, i'm just defining uh, pb5 which is the onboard led so if we take a look at the hardware we have an led on board called oops if you can see we have an led on board called test led this one so this led is connected to pb5 so we are going to use this uh, toggle this led from the serial monitor so i am defining this uh, pb5 as test led and then moving down inside the main function we are declaring this test led as an output pin which is a push pull output pin and then we have the command lines for we have the functions for serial communication so initially we uh, start serial communication at 9600 baud rate and then we print a introductory uh, string called enter command so we are just going to print this on screen once and then move on to next line then uh, inside the infinite loop that is inside the while loop we will be checking if there is any serial data so if a user has entered anything then the condition will be yes and inside that uh, we will print uh, you have pressed and then we will read what character has been pressed by the user and then we'll print that character and after a new line if the pressed character is zero we will be turning the led on so sorry we'll be turning the led off so um, if you have looked at the internal circuit diagram of your board, you would have noticed that uh, the PB5 is actually pulled high. So whenever you make it high, the LED will turn off and whenever you make it low, the LED will turn on. So that's what we have done here. Coming to the hardware connections, let me quickly show you what I have done. So this is the circuit diagram. Just give me a second. And there it is. 
So the circuit diagram is pretty much simple. I have connected both the USB to TTL converter as well as the ST link. Uh, I'll also place my hardware connection side by. Is that possible? Let me try that again. Yes. So as you can see, we have the ST link over here, which is this one. And there are four connections coming out of it. One reset, ground, a swim, and 3.3 volt. All these are used for programming as well as to power the microcontroller. And on the USB to TTL converter, there are many types of USB to TTL converter. Mine is something like this, but yours might uh, look different in terms of appearance. But anyways, just look for these four pins, VCC, RX, TX, and ground and then connect RX to TX and TX to RX. Now make sure your USB to TTL converter can support 3.3 volts uh, uh, logic uh, supply so that uh, it works with this microcontroller because we are operating at 3.3 volts here. And then another important thing is you can either power the board from the 3.3 volt pin of your uh, ST, ST link or you can use the VCC pin on your a USB to TTL converter but here I'm using my ST link to power the board now with the connections all uh, done let me proceed with uploading the code now uh, most of you might have already learned from the previous video on how to upload the code but let me just show it again open ST visual programmer yes and then open the code file over here so it will be dot s19 which is equivalent to uh, the hex file in other microcontrollers so just select that Control e to program it and once the programming is done make sure you do this to reset the stv link uh, i'm facing this problem personally i'm not sure if it is there with every other programmer so once you have done that you can open serial monitor i am going to use Arduino. it doesn't matter what program is here i'm just going to use the serial monitor and my USB to TTL converter is connected to COM8. I'm just going to press reset button. Just going to press reset button on my development board. And as soon as I press it, you can see it says enter command. So uh, that's what we had in our uh, main function. So if I press one, you can see the LED turns on. And if I press zero, the LED turns off. You can also try other commands like A, B, C, D. It will just say what you have pressed, but nothing will be happening on the hardware side because we haven't written any program for that. So whenever I press one, the LED will turn on and whenever I press zero, the LED will turn off. Now, apart from, it's not mandatory to use your Arduino serial monitor. You can also use other serial monitors, but the concept is pretty much the same. So that's it guys. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you and bye-bye.